Spelling Studio. As you know, my name is Annie, and together we are reading some English books in not enough for forgetting and just for fun. So, as it's Monday, it means that we are reading. Uh, we continue. No, we finished reading Animal Legends. So, as you remember, the previous week we read a very, very amazing, very funny and a little bit strong story about monkeys and why do they live in trees. And now we are going to read a very interesting story, another story about animal that is called the rabbit and the crocodile. So, let's start reading. There was once a time when crocodiles live on land, not in the water. One grumpy old crocodile lived near a river and laced in the sun all day. I wish I were this crocodile, especially now. Yes, I miss you, Summer. One day, a baby rabbit hopped past looking for some tasty leaves. Hello, he called and woke up the crocodile. The crocodile was furious. Go away! I'm trying to sleep. As the crocodile shut his eyes again, the rabbit hoped closer. Uh, he's a fearless <laughs> rabbit, actually. He had spotted a bunch of fresh green leaves just by the crocodile's nose. Mmm, these are yummy! With loud crunching, he began to gobble them up. The crocodile's eyes snapped open. Get away from those leaves! He roared. Yeah, understand him why somebody like distracts me while during my like sleep. I'm very fierce actually. And he snapped at the rabbit with his enormous jaws. Go away! The little rabbit ran and ran. He didn't stop until he reached his burrow. The crocodile nearly ate me, he told his mother. But I didn't do anything wrong. He was only eating some leaves. There, there, you're safe now. His mother was very angry. It's time the crocodile was taught a lesson. She said firmly, he is grumpy and lazy and it just won't do. But crocodiles uh, uh, didn't, didn't do something wrong. He was sleeping. Yeah, crazy rabbits. Gathering the other rabbits together, she told them she had a plan. The next day, the rabbits went into the woods. They collected branches, twigs and leaves and stuffed them into a sack. That's enough, said the rabbit's mother and up they went to find the crocodile. They didn't have to look far. He was by the river bank asleep as usual. The rabbit crept closer. <laughs> I almost fell asleep also. <laughs> Sneaking up, they made a big circle of twigs, leaves and branches around the crocodile. Hmm. I can't imagine what do they want to do. So, then the mother rabbit set light to the circle. Oh my gosh, she's so cruel. The fire cracked and spat and smoke bellowed him. The crocodile woke with a jump. When he saw the fire, he bellowed in fear. Help! Help! Fire! The fire was leaking at his scales. Taking a flying leap, he jumped right over the flames. Funniest thing I've ever seen! Ho, ho, ho! Those rabbits are so angry, actually. I don't like uh, rabbits anymore. And disappeared into the river with a splash. I hope he didn't sing. When the crocodile heard the rabbits laughing, he was very annoyed. 
shouted at them from the river. Don't ever come near the river again! Ha ha ha! Keep off our land then, cried the rabbit, and that's how it stayed ever since. Okay. I think that crocodile, this crocodile is for crocodile, and I started loving crocodiles actually, because yeah, he's he's so poor creature. He was just sleeping. He he didn't do anything wrong, but those rabbits were so annoying, and they. Oh my god. Well, but all in all, I like that story because never nobody died because um, in the end everybody, let's say, was happy. So the story is not quite bad, but all in all, I love the story about the monkeys the most. So, that was the end of that book and that was the end of our videos, of our video. Uh, have a nice day, goodbye, and don't forget to put your like, don't forget that uh, another video is waiting you on Thursday, so don't forget to watch it, put your likes, subscribe our channel, and have a nice day, bye-bye!